any more over here. Uh, do you all need this mic just to introduce yourselves? No, okay. All right, let's give them another big round of applause and welcome.
Goodbye, my coming out of favor. <laughs>
This is probably the first time this quartet has done much of anything in a long time. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And it's especially true to watch that as fall off the stage. <laughs> um, this is especially true uh, as we have gone through the pandemic and we're now at the point where we're hoping things get a lot better. So that's what this is all about. If I can find my notes.
you all probably remember this from when you were a little bit younger. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're old enough. When the sun beats down and burns a tar upon the Good Saint Nick, Good Saint Nick. 
Yeah. You start with Sunday July. No. <laughs> um, this this quartet, by the way, uh, didn't have two of the people that are in a year and a half ago. We just don't have to move two here right now. So, so we borrowed one. We borrowed two. And two. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, good luck, guys. Okay. Uh, now, I just want to don't, don't worry. I'm going to talk. <laughs> I didn't bring <laughs> You got time. <laughs> How many of you remember a guy by the name of Roger Miller? Ah. Traders, what was his name? What was somebody else? Come on, thank you. Anyway, my mind is yeah, closed down. Anyway, that, that guy wrote a lot of crazy stuff. Okay? But what a lot of people don't know is that he wrote a children's lullaby that he sang to his son at Christmas time. And very few people have ever heard it. And somebody in the barbershop had got a hold of it and put it, an arrangement to it. And uh, it's called Little Toy Trains. Uh, 
always, every time, we do Christmas stuff. We try to close out the Christmas part with uh, something that's a little more closer to home as far as where we're at right now. And this is a song that we learned a few years ago and uh, we really like it. It's called Low Howard Rose. <coughs> pressure on anybody, we just go out and have a good time. And uh, we, I mean, this part that we have of our lives is very, very important to us every, every week. Uh, when we weren't able to get there, that's why we Zoomed, because the camaraderie and the joy we have of being around each other is important to each of us. Not even counting the singing, which is fine, okay? But if you like that, if you like that idea, please, please think about coming and joining us. We meet every Monday night at 7 o'clock right now at Christ United Methodist Church in the back in the uh, office building in the back. There's a choir room in there that we will be uh, It's off, it's on what? On, um, on Russell. On Russell. On Russell. Uh, and uh, just come down there and come to the back of the, the parking lot in the back. And, You'll see other cars there, and you'll know we're there. Um, I think it's a Boy Scout trip meeting here, too, so there's some cars for them, too. But uh, come join us, have a good time. We'll, uh, we'll teach you how to sing barbershop, listen to the other guys, all that good stuff, and have a good time. And we'll fit you into where your part is so that you can feel comfortable with what you're saying. Uh, so we, we'd love to have you come in. Uh, We've been at this size or a little bit bigger over the last three or four or five years. We'd love to get about twice as many people 
and we've had a fall. And uh, our next, uh, well, we got some other things coming up, but one of the things coming up that we do just about every year and missed it last year is uh, when they do the marathon at the base. Uh, we go out and we do the uh, national anthem for that that started out. And uh, we, it's just one of the, you know, we just love to do the things that we do every time. So please, think about coming to St. Louis. You'll have a good time. And uh, we're going to close out with a song that we sing every practice, the last thing before we go home.